Hello everyone, Kevin here for a Facebook exclusive video. At least I think that is, but anyways, it's my MacBook, um, the A1181. Uh, I actually got a new skin for it since the old one was getting uh, really dirty. And the um, people who uh, sort of professionally installed it, they did a good job at first, but now it's starting to kind of peel off at the edges. And... Um, I also actually got a new Apple TV, although I haven't actually uploaded the video of it, but so I actually did get a um, Apple remote and I um, bit as I um, sort of let it learn the um, uh, unused DVD setting on the cable TV universal remote and um, so I still so I have this leftover which I'm actually using with my MacBook and I and turns out you have to go to Gatekeeper. Um, settings or the security settings basically on your iMac to disable the remote you can't go to keyboards and disable it and it turns out that the sleep light is dead but the remote sensor does work and um, now the problem with my MacBook here as I told you in my um, original video on my YouTube channel is that it would actually randomly shut off and I at th around 30% uh, so it won't actually turn on right now however if I plug in a power adapter, let me do it. Okay. See, so the charger actually turns on and it actually wakes up the system. And now uh, it was at 22%, but now it says 0% charging. So you can actually kind of see it right there. And now I'm going to unlock the system, system information or system profile as it used to be called. So anyways, if I go down to power, it is reading a milliamp hour reading of 18% and um, when the computer actually shut down, it was at 22%. So the power meter is kind of inaccurate. And um, also, you can see that there is no serial number because this is actually an aftermarket battery. The original Apple batteries will have a serial number. So another problem I wanted to show you is that the audio uh, system on this um, computer seems to be messing itself up. So if you can actually see here, the volume control is actually disabled. It says no uh, symbol. and. Uh, Actually, earlier when I had my MacBook, it actually had the um, red light in the earphone jack itself. So, it is actually very weird. Before, because of this, I have to plug in my earphones and then I will be able to hear through the earphones. And I can show you that if I try and control it, it still doesn't work. But now I can control the earphone volume. If I take that out. It actually disables itself because it's kind of screwed up. We start. Now also, um, okay, I forgot what to say. But anyways, so you can hear that you, it, you will still do the startup chime through the Intel speakers. Which are so as I was saying, it actually will still do the startup chime through the um, Intel speakers however the audio system is still screwed but anyways if I change the volume it is still disabled so if I go over to settings I mean system preferences and if I go to sound it only has an option for a digital out which I don't think this computer has unless it's referring to the uh, headphone jack so it says selected devices no output controls and I've plug in it'll actually enable for the headphones and I can actually change the volume for the headphones if I unplug it it will disable itself again now in the past I could just um, keep unplugging and plugging in the earphones again and again to actually get it to enable the Intel speakers but now it is not working it seems And also, um, in the meanwhile, I was actually already... Oh, oh! 
I almost dropped my phone and I was actually putting together the video for Facebook but anyways I decided to put some tape to uh, make sure that the skin wouldn't peel itself off because I really like this skin and also the um, the heat lid is actually badly scratched underneath the skin of course yeah it just turned 11 uh, p.m. and uh, if I do sell this on eBay but I will just try and um, warn the sellers that not only is the sleep light on the front dead but also the uh, audio does not seem to work itself properly and it will only work if you use headphones uh, through the jack and oh for a moment there it actually enabled itself but actually you can now see the um, red light in the earphone jack and it's kind of darkening itself and just came out but Yep, the audio system is completely screwed on here, it seems. Well, actually, not completely. I can still uh, use it with earphones, but I don't want to drag. Earphone. I, I don't want to drag my portable speakers with me. Yeah, so the audio is completely screwed, which is a sad thing. I will probably sell this MacBook on eBay along with my um, mini DVI to DVI adapter as well as the battery and the power adapter. So um, if someone wants it, they can buy it from me. Although I may downgrade the RAM before I actually sell it. Uh, just in case if I need the 2GB of RAM for another computer of mine. Or if I want to put back the 2GB um, stick into my LG E300 and put back a the um, one gigabyte stick I can do that but well I really don't know so those of you on Facebook you may want to leave me a comment saying whether I should sell it or not and uh, by the way when I do sell it I will actually uh, clean install a copy of Lion and unlike other people who sell Macs on eBay I won't actually go through the initial setup I would just um, let the user set up the computer themselves that is what I always do uh, and that is to leave the computer on the first time setup instead of going through the uh, first time setup uh, for the buyer and leaving them with users such as administrator, user, MacBook. Yeah, actually, because I actually, um, we have YouTube user VVS Life has one of these, and um, his computer was set up with the username MacBook, and yeah. And I'm not sure if it's actually YouTube user, the iBook guy who actually sold it to VVS Life. Because I think I also saw his videos on uh, Secrets of the MacBook. And uh, the um, username in the corner I actually should ma uh username of MacBook. But of course, this system I actually did um, go through the initial setup myself. So if I go to the users group and you can see my name there. And then... No. Okay, yeah, if you go to users and groups, you can actually see my username there and I have to cover that because I don't want you to see my Apple ID. Uh, yeah, but it is in fact tagged to my Apple ID uh, email address. So, yep, that's it. This is Kevin signing off. Thanks for watching.